after the Civil War. Another idea is finding directions for the new roads. So High Jolly was ordered to find the best road to get to California. And that road became Route 66. So let me get this straight. High Jolly is hired by the US government to survey the best route from here. And that route ended up becoming the last section of Route 66. Yeah. No way. Yeah. This is blowing our minds. <laughs> Buckle up, that was a clip from the cross-country journey across the historic Route 66 in the three-part documentary series, The Great Muslim American Road Trip, which follows a husband-wife duo as they explore Muslim communities on their 2,500-mile drive. Rapper and activist Mona Hadar and her husband, Sebastian Robbins, join us to talk about their journey. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, I'm excited to chat with both of you. And Mona and Sebastian, a three-week road trip sounds like an adventure. How did this idea for the journey come about? You know, we, it was a year into the pandemic, and we'd been married. We'd been together close to 10 years. And for us, it was like a second honeymoon. We started in Chicago, ended up in on the Santa Monica Pier. And for us, it was an opportunity to get to know each other all over again after having a couple kids and spending a lot of time together, but never really having enough time to have real in-depth conversations. And this was a sort of inward journey for our marriage and outward journey where we learned a lot on, on that mother road. Yeah, and you're both practicing Muslims, correct? Yeah, we are. Yeah, and Sebastian, you converted after meeting Mona. What insight did you gain from this trip when it comes to your religion? I think there were two things. One is the diverse and long history of Muslims in America. And we got to learn from scholars and activists, community organizers, historians along the way about the history that we knew nothing about. And I hope viewers can kind of learn through us. Uh, the second piece is the role that service plays in every religion. Um, and we got to see that through the lens of Islam, um, but it's really no different for any other practitioner to take one's belief in God and turn it into beautiful acts on this, uh, on this earth. And we saw people doing that, walking the talk in a very humble way, and we came out inspired to want to do that more in our own lives and through our faith. And that's one of the things that inspired me to become a Muslim, um, and that energizes me every day in my faith. Yeah, it sounds like a really inspiring trip. And along your road trip, did you learn anything that was maybe surprising or see anything that was surprising? Well, we saw a giant ketchup bottle and things like that. <laughs> so, there were definitely funny moments. We ate a lot of <laughs> we ate a lot of good food and talked to a lot of incredibly wonderful, warm, generous people who led us into their lives a little bit, and, and that was deeply transformational. One thing I would say we learned is that our our, our conception of when Muslims um, came here, uh, that timeline just kept getting pushed further and further back. And we learned about a Muslim who was brought here by the Spanish conquistadors as an enslaved Moroccan. In the year, he was born in the year 1500. And, you know, that's before, um, the idea of America even existed as a nation state, you know, and, and so we learned that actually at the Zuni Pueblo from a Native American scholar there. And we, we just had this transformational experience where we continued to learn and grow and through that, you know, learn more about each other along the way yeah, and, and ourselves. Is, yeah, and what do you hope people take away from watching this documentary? You know, I think um, Muslims in any minority community is under tremendous amount of pressure to be extraordinary, to, to achieve, to be exceptional. And we met extraordinary and exceptional people along the way, don't get me wrong. But um, really what you see through us as a very fallible, humorous couple is that um, Muslims, just like everybody else, also get to be human. Um, also get to be funny, also get to make mistakes, get to live their lives, to be parents, to argue, to make up. Um, 
And that I think relieves some of the burden for um, you know the immigrant, the refugee, the struggling person who not only has to survive on this hard journey through life, but then somehow has to be extraordinary. And that's a tremendous amount of pressure for anybody. And hopefully that this show can take that pressure off a little bit and show that Muslims really are just like everybody else. And we have our faults and we have our beauties. And uh, the people we meet along the way really exemplify that in a in a inspiring, beautiful, humorous way. Well, I'm excited to tune in and tell our viewers where they can watch more. Thank you both so much for joining us. The Great Muslim American Road Trip premieres Tuesday, July 5th on PBS.